One of the most important things for a network or any executive in our business today, or at any time, was to understand the business. I came up through the creative and production ranks, and it took me a long time to learn the business. But it's vital to know the business. So if I had known the business when I started Fox, I would have realized that getting Sunday morning from the affiliates was probably impossible because they made so much money mm -hmm. off of church and religious programs or their syndicated blocks that they'd have on Sunday morning. It didn't make sense financially. And when we were number one in writing big checks to the affiliates, when I got the first uh, check from Saban for all the merchandise that was sold to Marvel and we gave all those big checks to the stations and they were on top of the world, they still weren't interested in Sunday morning because that was a big profit center to them. So part of my vision was to be on seven days a week because I thought we were unfinished yet. We had to be on every day. Um, I also, part of my endeavor at Fox was to not only make us number one, but make us the best. I wanted lots of awards, not for me, because I always felt that getting awards was synonymous with being known for quality. And I felt that being known for quality would help solidify our future. And it's also very aspirational. You always want to do better, do your best. And I felt that that would pay back. Um, it wasn't to be because of these other political issues, not political, but strategic, corporate strategic issues that I wasn't familiar with until I was there. Mm -hmm. So my vision was that Fox Kids could become a Nickelodeon in broadcast. I never realized how much trouble, how challenging it would be. And I should have known because when Jamie Kellner offered me the job and I met Rupert Murdoch and they described my responsibility, they described how their 200 affiliated stations were our partners and there was an affiliate board that I would work with and for. I said to them, well, uh, wait a minute, who do I work for? Never forget this. They said, well, you work for us, but you make the 200 stations think that you work for them. And I said, okay. And I did that, but as you can see, it wasn't a perfect setup because eventually what was important for the stations would outweigh what I wanted. If they didn't want Sunday morning programming, if they didn't want afternoon programming because it wasn't good for their news, they were going to win.